Hey guys, what's happening? Hope you're doing good. I'm Jakob Carlson and I made this channel dedicated to helping guys that struggle with social anxiety and depression. And I'm really excited to share today's content with you. Each of the three habits I will be talking about today have all been key in order for me to becoming a more confident individual and being a more grounded man. In essence, they all helped me in overcoming both social anxiety and depression, but more so they helped me in choosing healthy relationships, believing that I'm a man of worth and value and being at peace with myself. So with that being said, let's jump into it. The first habit I want to talk about today is solitude. I've come to tell you I'm going away. I want to go out into the wilderness, away from everything. I think one of my biggest barriers for growth was using relationships to cover for emotional pain. Now, an alpha male is essentially described as the leader of the pack, the steadfast rock, an oak tree. This is impossible to become if you base your identity on the affirmation of friends and women. You might be able to feel like an alpha male because of the number of women you sleep with or because of how awesome your friends find you. Yet it's a fading and weak identity because it's 100% based on the affirmation of others. The second a girl rejects you or your friends criticize you, your identity takes a blow and enough rejections like it and your identity is shed to pieces. An alpha male cares little of the rejection of women or being criticized by his friends. Therefore, Spend excessive amount of time alone without distractions and allow yourself to feel and contemplate. Find out what you like and what you dislike. Have fun with yourself. The more you can do this, the higher your standards for relationships will be because you now have something to fall back upon. It's better to be by yourself than in a toxic relationship. So therefore pursue solitude. The second habit I want to talk about is spending money on yourself. Spend money on yourself, but spend money on things that improve your health and things that are beneficial for you. And why is this? Well, because if you're going to detach yourself from the approval of others, you have to learn to approve of yourself. So money and time are two things we spend on people we value. Therefore, you should primarily be spending it on yourself. Now, many guys fall into the trap of spending money on others to make them like them. They have an easy time paying for expensive dates with girls they just met or buying them gifts, etc. But spending their hard earned money on new shoes, getting their teeth cleaned, or Seeing a massage therapist is not a part of their monthly routine. If they do spend money on themselves, it's usually drugs or alcohol or any other useless unhealthy substance, which just further enhances their toxic belief that they hold little to no value. So therefore, by changing the way you spend your resources, you will inevitably prove to yourself that you are a man of worth and that you are a man of value. And this builds a much more deep rooted confidence than that based on the approval of others. The third habit I want to talk about is pursuing brotherhood. Now, as the proverb says, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Now it is an understandable mistake to confuse solitude and isolation, so let's quickly go through the terminology here. So according to the Cambridge Dictionary, solitude is defined as the situation of being alone. Without other people, it provides one with the chance to reflect on spiritual matters in solitude, while isolation is defined as the condition of being alone, especially when this makes one feel unhappy. So solitude is self-love. It's a conscious choice to be alone for a set amount of time, then coming back to a community. While isolation is self-destructive, it's a conscious choice to ignore a much needed community. Now, it's probably the most common mistake men do is pursuing the lone wolf mentality. First off, you cannot be the alpha male leader of nothing and no one. Secondly, you are not meant to figure out everything on your own. So certain times we simply lack knowledge, we simply lack wisdom or we lack expertise in an area. In those cases, we can either bang our head against the wall in hope to getting what we want, or we can get advice. The same way that you trust your professor when he says that 
2 times x equals 6, therefore x equals 3. The same way you should trust a wiser man when he says, that girl you just met didn't respond to your text for two weeks. Well, she probably doesn't like you, son. Stop reaching out and move on. So these were my three habits of an alpha male that I wanted to discuss today. I practice each of them regularly and have found them to be greatly rewarding. Now, none of these are quick fixes, they're all a part of a lifestyle and you can apply them in any measure you want and they will yield results according. So to sum things up, make the choice of daily solitude, spend money on good and healthy things for yourself and thirdly, pursue brotherhood. Now, if you like the content, smash that like button on the video so that I know that you appreciated it and subscribe to my channel. I will be making more content like this and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So have a nice day and I'll talk to you soon.